What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so... <laughs> we became the champions. Yes, we are the champions of the Kalos region. And let's see, how long did it take us to do this? Quite a, quite a, quite a while, look at that. Oh yes, we entered the Hall of Fame on the 24th of, of February. Wow, it's been almost two months. <laughs> well, anywho... Let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right here, guys. So as you guys can see, once you become the champion, your mama notices that you're there, and she's like, Draven, I saw the parade on TV. Professor Sycamore went all out trying to get everyone to show for you, or show up for you, you know? That reminds me. I received a message from Professor Sycamore. He says he wants to meet you at Lumioi Station. Do you know where he, where that is? If, if you don't, then just qu get a quick cab ride. Wow, still can't read. I wonder why he wants to meet you now, though he should have just talked to you in the parade. Yeah, that's probably the true, the truest thing right there, but you know Professor Sycamore, he likes to do things extremely flamboyant or whatever, I don't even know. Anywho, once you step outside the house, guys, there's going to be a little something something waiting for you it's right there. Right there. Sensei, that parade was so great. Um, I have something I want to ask you. Do you mind? I want to trade Pokemon with you, Trey Sensei. Huh. They'll be like friendship bracelets, but Pokemon. I'll give you this chest bin. I found it in an egg. You can give me any Pokemon you want. So, this is the fun part about Pokemon X and Y. That the Pokemon... Oh, well, you're going to get yourself a second starter from Kalos. You just got to trade whatever Pokemon you have right here. And, well, I haven't been doing a lot of capturing, so I'm just going to... Let's see. I have been collecting a few Pokemon. X-Boom looks pretty cool. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and give Ladybug to this Pokemon trainer right here. That's right. Ladybug for a Chespin. And she's like, yay! Okay, so here it is, guys. In in-game trade. We're sending Ladybug for a Chespin. I mean, it's no big deal. I mean, who really wins in this one right here? I don't know. But here it is, guys. We get ourselves a Chespin. Look at that. And it's named Chester. Chester, how's it going, buddy? And, well, because of that, she's going to be like, your Pokemon is really special to me, Sensei. Of course, each and every Pokemon is special, too. Yeah, the yeah, it's very, very special in, in some type of way. Anywho, we have to go to Lumioi City because there is a little something, something that we need to do right there. So, let's see. Evil Bacon cannot fly. Ah, Nacho can fly. Okay, so... Let's go to Lumioi City. Go straight to the train station, because there's quite a few things that we need to do here, guys. In this episode, yes, it's going to be a tour, it's going to be this, it's going to be that. We're not going to do much, because in the next four episodes... Oh yeah, we're going to be doing some capturing, we're going to be doing some grinding, and whatever. Alright, so here we are, Lumioi Station, or Lumioi City. And all we need to do now is go straight to the, the train station, which should be right over there, somewhere. If I can't find her, or I can't find them, well, somebody will help me. So let's see. Not right here. Look at that, me skating like, uh, like I own the place. Okay, so I don't know where the station's at. So let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. He's going to be like, okay, so I'm in the mood for transportation facilities and... Go to the station, the train station. Where's the train station? Holy crud. Okay, let's go to another place. Um, services. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Another place. Holy crud. Transportation. Um, ah, here we go. The Lumioi station. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take care of this business right here. And here we are, the Lumioi Station, and that was quite a few uh, jump change right there. So here we are in North Boulevard, and we're going to enter the train station. As you do, here we have Professor Sycamore and these guys. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We always seem to be surprising you, don't we? We're just here to give you something the professor forgot to, about last time. Central Kalos. Coastal Kalos. Mountain Kalos. There are more Pokemon in Kalos than you'll find in, the, in these three Pokedexes. Did you know that? That's basically what we're about. We're here about. We're power. We're, we'll power up your Pokédex for you. And there we go. We get ourselves the National Dex. From there, 
You better keep on treasuring the time you get with your Pokemon from now on. Got it? This precious time that uh, you fought for. Yeah, I always treasure my time with the Pokemon. But here is Professor Sycamore. Let's go ahead and talk to him. How did you like your parade, Raven? So, the reason I asked you to come here is I wanted you, or I wanted to give you a pass to Kilood City. Doesn't that ring any bells? Kilood City is a city in the southern part of the Kalos region. And it's perfect, it's the perfect place for trainers looking to sharpen their skills. So here's your pass for the super high uh, speed rail to Kilood City. And there we go, we get ourselves a TMV pass. And use it to ride the, let's see, use it to ride the TMV super high, uh, high speed rail. Take your pass to the scanner over there, it's, it's an orange machine. Have the machine scan your pass and board the train. Have a fantastic time. Ah, okay. So, before we do anything, guys, there's maybe one or two things that we need to do. Yeah, probably one or two things. Let's see. Um, let's see. Maybe it's in here. Probably. I don't even know. Nope, not in here. Anywho, um, let's see. Let's go somewhere regular right here into Route 16 because... Once you uh, defeat the Elite Four, something special is going to happen. And we need to find some grass right here. So here we are in Route 16. Doesn't really matter where you're at. And BAM! A legendary bird will appear. And a funny thing about that is that you, you, you really can't do anything about it right now. Look at that. It's looking at us all angry and stuff. Well, it fled. Okay, so, again, guys, it doesn't really matter where you go. You will find a legendary bird Pokemon from Kanto, and depending on what your rival, I believe it's Serena, depending on what Serena picks, it will be the Pokemon strongest to it. In this case, I got myself Zapdos. If you guys remember, in Pokemon, uh, what was it called? In Pokemon X, I got myself a Moltres. Now... The key to that is that you have to find it 10 times. 10 times, guys. You have to look for it 10 freaking times in order for you to actually capture it. So that's the reason why I triggered it right now because, well, I'm not going to spend my time here just doing it. Like, I'm not going to spend my time here. Uh, what was it called? Uh, trying to find it. It's going to be off screen and all that stuff. Now, let's see. I'm trying to find. Let's see. I'm trying to find something right here. Galant, Rouleau, Soleil. Okay, how about this one? Um, yeah. So, like I was saying, guys. You have to find it ten times. I believe it will be in the next episode where I will... I will find it one last time before, you know, we can actually do something about that. And, well, here we are in Cafe Soleil. Now, if you go right here, you're going to be finding yourself the Pokemon League Champion. And she's like, oh, why, hello there. That's right. This is where I first met you, isn't it, Draven? You know, I'd really love to learn more about how strong a trainer you, like you raises his Pokemon. This probably seems a bit sudden, but how would you feel like trading one of your Pokemon for, uh, for my Ralt here? Let's do it. So, she's going to be trading us a Ralt, and this is no ordinary Ralt. This Ralt is holding in... what was it called? Um, It's holding a Mega Stone. What was it called again? Uh, uh, Gardevoirite. Can't even pronounce that right. And, uh, let's see. Do I have the female version? Eh, I really don't care. All right, let's 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 go ahead and trade Combi right here. And there we go. We are trading a Combi, a male Combi for a Ralts that will eventually have a Mega Stone. And I know many of you guys have been asking, hey, so are you going to Mega Evolve any other Pokemon? Aside from, you know, him, Lucario, you know, that guy. I could. I could. I, I, I do have, what, four more episodes left? And I did, and I did say four more because, for a very good reason, guys. And before I get to that reason, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Hello, Combi. I'm glad to meet you. Was it a bit shocking to be traded? I hope you'll come to trust me, like or trust and like me. I promise that I'll take good care of you. And uh, well, let's see. Well, we do not have a space in here, but the Ralts that you just got, guys, it does have the Gardevoirite, and uh, well. That right there will equip you, uh, well, that, that right there will help you in the long run when it comes to trying to, uh, what was it called, uh, 
to Mega Evolve it and all that stuff. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to be going back to the transport stations. And go back to the uh, Lumioi station. So that's two, three things that we got covered here in this episode. I promise you guys this is going to be a quick one because, well, we got stuff to do. Lots and lots of stuff to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this and let's go to Kilood City. And uh, yes, look at that, the big old train right there. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Sounds pretty cool. And away we go. And what do we have here? We are back and we are in Kilu Station. Now, let's see. Pokedex, I'll give you a kiss. Royal ladies took the Spritzy with them instead of what? Hmm. Ha perfume? Yeah, okay. And because of that, we get ourselves a Max Revive, which is pretty cool. I was just winging it, guys. It was pretty hilarious. Um, let's see. What about her? What drives the TMV is electricity. We owe it to the Kalos Power Plant. Huh. Okay, well, they need to make something about that. So here we are in Kilood City, and this gentleman right here is going to be like, You wouldn't happen to be Draven, would you? I saw you in the parade. That's right. I knew it! You're everything I expect someone who holds the honor of Kalos to be. I'm so grateful to you, uh, to you for stopping Team Flare. Please take this as a small token of my appreciation. And there we go. We get ourselves a VS Seeker, or VS Recorder, I should say. And you can use the VS Recorder to record uh, battle videos of battles with friends or battles in special facilities. What's more, if you connect it to, to the internet, you can upload your battle videos. You can also search for battle videos that others have uploaded by entering a code. Which, you know, it was a good thing back in the day and all that stuff. And, uh, well, not really going to do anything right here. So... As you guys can see, this is the battle area where you're going to be finding a lot of stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. Well, not, not a lot of stuff right now. Right now, I'm just having the best slump. I really want to paint a boy in victory. Well, okay. And sneakers, I need to see a colorful outfit for inspiration. She's obviously letting me know that, hey, you know, you need to dress up better because, well, shoot. I need to, I need to make a, a portrait of you. Now, let's see. This place right here is the Friend Safari where you can actually capture Pokemon that were left by Pokemon trainers, some of your friends and all that stuff. And here we found ourselves a nugget. That's going to come in handy when, uh, you know, we, we, we sell stuff and whatnot. And, uh, well, let's see. This right here is the Battle Maison run by four fabulous sisters. Eventually, we're going to be doing five battles right here to trigger another event, which, uh, well, many of you guys will probably be seeing later next week. And, uh, well, let's see. And this one, excuse me, got a minute. You look like you know a lot about Pokemon. Could you use your knowledge to help me out? Yes. Hey, thanks. Here's what I was wondering about. Usually ground types, uh, ground type moves can't hit a Pokemon with the levitate ability. But I'm sure there's a way, uh, to do it. I'm just sure, I just can't, for the life of me, figure it out. I have several ideas, but I can't decide which one to try. That's why I want your... Oh, wow. Hold on just a sec. Alrighty, we're back guys, my bad. Everybody likes to call me around this time when I'm kind of recording and all that stuff. Should really put it in airplane mode. Hmm. Especially when it's business. Anywho, that's why I want your opinion on the matter. First, I'd like to... i like some advice about items. See, I want to use a, a trick or switcheroo to give an item to a Pokemon that has Levitate. Uh, the Levitate ability so I can hit, the ground, hit it with ground type moves. After wondering about uh, what item, I think... I should give uh, what I thought an Iron Ball might work. I'm not sure, though. What do you think? Is an Iron Ball a good idea? Yes, it is. It is a very good idea because it actually weighs down a Pokemon right there. Oh, I knew it! But hearing you say it makes me feel more like I'm more confident. So passing on the Iron Ball to a Pokemon with Levitate means Ground-type moves can hit it. Thanks. I'd like to pick your brain again. Is that okay? I'd like to get advice on moves. If I use the certain move on a Pokemon with the Levitate ability then, and then use a ground type move on it, I think it could work. Smackdown, Gravity, Gastro Acid. Let's go with a Smackdown because that's what they always do. I knock. A, I will knock a Flying type Pokemon or a Pokemon with Levitate out of the air so ground type moves will work on it. So if I use Smackdown and then use a ground type move... Yes, I get it now. Thanks. But... Let's see. I'd like a little advice about abilities. Seriously, bro! A apparently, the abilities let you hit Pokemon with your Levitate, Ground-type moves, but I'm not sure which one to use. Mold Breaker, Terrible, Turbo Blaze all seem pretty good choices. I'm sure, but I can't decide. 
Help, please decide for me, and it's Mold Breaker. And yes, okay, alrighty. So I am not gonna read this because holy crud, this guy. Oh my god, he is talking too much. Yes, let's go, let's just go ahead and battle. Okay. So here we are taking on Ace Trainer Anton, and well, he is gonna be coming out with a with a what you call it, a coughing right here. So I got no Pokemon with uh, what was it called? Um, with uh, any kind of ground type move. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be quick with this. Beat them all. Look at that, easy. You know, you got other typings too that you can actually beat these guys with. And, well, let's see. Here we go. Taking on an Electros. This Pokemon is rather infamous when it comes to, you know, being a being a ground-type move uh, a repellent and all that crud. So here we go. Electros looking at me all funny and all that stuff. And here we go. Psychic-type attack. And that will lower its special defense. But here comes the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt really messes me up just a little. But guess what? Psychic attack for the win. And there you go, Electros has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see, we got a Bronzong. I'm gonna continue on right here. All three of these Pokemon have Levitate and everything. I'm not, well, as you guys can see, I am not playing this guy's game right here. So here we go, Flamethrower for the win. And there you go, Bronzong defeated. Mm-hmm. And with that, Star Fox grows to level 74. And, well, Anton looking, he's like he was excited too. Yeah. Nobody was excited for that one, homeboy. Hmm. I thought I was completely prepared for an anti-levitate tactics, but in real battles, things never seem to be quite as smoothly as you expect. Or maybe you're just that good. Uh, it's, 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 it's both. It's literally both, guys. Um, let's see. Let's see. Anything else? Well, we had a battle right here. And we got plenty of other stuff right there. Let's see. What if we go into this house? See what uh, see what, what kind of goodies we get right here. Here is a witch girl right here, and it's like I'm really a superstar, but I, I look, uh, but this look of mine needs some pizzazz. I'm no shrinking violet, but I tried pedal a uh, blizzard or something. Hmm. That is awesome. And there's literally nobody right here, guys. Huh. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's see. Is there anything else right here? I'm gonna go through the. I'm just gonna go through the houses, guys, and uh, from there, just make my way uh, into the next thing. And you know, this lady right here is gonna be talking to me about the battle maison, which you will be earning BPs, battle points for different kinds of prizes. And talk to this lady tonight. I'll be. Uh, I'll put all my skill into cooking a Cinnabarian hamburger steak. That sounds delicious. Hello, hello. How's your progress in the Pokédex? You may want to use a Poké Radar that uh, you can get at the Professor Sycamore's lab, huh? The Pokey Radar. Huh. Anywho, let's see. Um, you know what? We're going to leave it just like that. In the next episode, I will be going through everything else, guys. So here's the deal. I did say four more episodes. So what's going to happen, guys, is that I will be doing four more episodes of Pokemon Y. That will include the legendary captures of Zapdos, Mewtwo, Zygarde, and finishing it, finishing it off with triggering the Looker event which will be right here in the uh, in Kilud City. After that, guys, the last five episodes of this walkthrough will be reruns of Pokemon X because, well, you know, I haven't played this game very much just to uh, remember everything, so I'm going to leave it up to Pokemon X. That way, everything is explained. So, hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. Hope you guys are excited for the last four episodes. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.